In 2018, Amber Heard wrote an op-ed for The Washington Post that detailed her experiences as a survivor of domestic abuse. Although she didn't name her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, in the piece, he and his legal team claimed that it was heavily implied that he was the abuser and that he'd lost out on movie deals, as a direct result of it. Johnny has repeatedly denied being abusive toward Amber and filed a defamation lawsuit against her in response to the article. She has countersued for $100 million. This is the second time that Johnny has taken domestic abuse allegations to court, having previously filed to sue the executive editor of British tabloid The Sun for libel after it referred to him as a wife beater in an article. The case went to trial in 2020, and Amber testified that Johnny had been abusive throughout their relationship. Johnny ultimately lost the case after a judge ruled that the son's statement about him was correct. However, because Johnny sued the publication and not Amber, the judge's verdict was not grounds to dismiss Johnny's current lawsuit against her. Instead, the incredibly public trial, which is taking place in Virginia, began last month and is being meticulously followed by people across the globe. During her testimony, Amber said that Johnny had physically, sexually, and emotionally abused her throughout their relationship which began in 2012. She has recounted some of the alleged encounters in detail, with photos of her injuries and text messages also being submitted as evidence. Throughout his four-day testimony earlier in the trial, Johnny denied ever hitting Amber and accused her of being the aggressor in their relationship. Audio recordings that he made during their violent encounters have been shared that Johnny's fans have been showing up at the courthouse to share their support for him during the trial, and they are also rallying together on social media in his defense.